thinking about the range of activities we carry out in the clinic, as well as the clinical service, we do do a lot of research. And one of the um, options for young people and families is to be collaborators in research studies with us, which we're very privileged to, to say over the years people have been really enthusiastic about doing. And although it takes up quite a bit of their time sometimes, um, young people and their families involved in studies do get a lot from it. So we've carried out some brain scanning studies, um, we've carried out treatment trials looking at different ways of delivering cognitive behaviour therapy. We've been looking at aspects of family functioning and distress, looking after a young person with OCD. And we have a big ongoing programme of research. So we're keen to encourage people when they come to our clinic to um, ask about whether they can be involved in a project and if they're invited to, to, to find out more about the possibilities. Getting involved in research in the children's OCD clinic doesn't alter the clinical care or the treatment you receive, but I think in a way it does give added value in terms of making young families feel really part of the team, really involved. Um, for example, we have a newsletter that we send out to all the families involved in research studies. Some young people and parents come back and join us on steering committees for future trials, even help with grant applications. And I think it really um, supplements their own understanding and expertise. I'm a big fan of the expert patient idea and I think being involved in a research study makes you feel really on top of understanding and beating your, your problem. Ongoing research in OCD is investigating I, I would say two main tracks. One is looking at causes and mechanisms of OCD and the other big track is looking at improving treatments and my hunch is that the big steps forward will be in the improving treatments um, side of things. In particular, actually, making sure that really high quality treatment is equally available throughout the country. At the moment, there's one or two areas of expertise and then in some clinics young people get very good CBT but I think there's a lot of research and work to be done on how do we achieve really good outcomes in non-specialist centres, how are people trained to do that and actually doing some studies measuring how, how best to do that. I think there will be some interesting findings from brain imaging studies um, in perhaps learning how to predict which types of treatment help which people. There's different brain imaging patterns in different subtypes of OCD and it may be that people with primarily washing OCD are rather different from people with primarily checking. So I think there may be some biological um, answers coming out. And then the other big factor is, as well as the genetic risks for o OCD, what may be the other factors that trigger an episode? And there's some interesting research emerging actually on the effect of infections on OCD, with some clues that exposure to streptococcal bacteria can be a trigger for OCD. So there are some interesting new avenues.